Hello everybody, this is Becky again for one last video of the day, and it's well past 5 o'clock. It's actually 7 p.m. here, and I am always overzealous and think that I can get more done in a day than I do. It does take a little bit more time to video and to get things ready so that things flow. And of course, if you've seen my other videos, even with that, things don't always flow. But I wanted to show you the last uh, projects that I made featuring the Dragonfly Dreams bundle. And so it is a bundle because you get the stamp set. So here's the stamp set. It is photopolymer. It's called Dragonfly Dreams. And you also get the matching dies. And these are called Detail Dragonfly Thinlets. Now, they're called thinlets because they're a little bit different than framelets. Framelets mostly make a frame, cut something out. This, if you notice, has detailed um, dies, such as this large dragonfly here, this dragonfly over here, and the little bee. It does also cut out the shape of a dragonfly and kind of has this little neat um, grouping of dragonflies as well. Now this is in the Occasions Spring Catalog and when you purchase this as a bundle you save 10% so it's always better to do that when you can. So with these cards I you'll notice that I use some of the same stamp sets that we've been using all evening or all day long. The big thank you here. I did the little dots or bubbles on the bottom with the dragonfly here. This is a couple of different options that I did and I like both of them. The card base here is Daffodil Delight and the card base on this one I believe is possibly it's one of the in colors. I believe that is I'm not really sure. <laughs> it could be Peekaboo Peach. I'm not sure right offhand. But anyway I can put more details in the description. You can also check out my blog at wallflowergreetings.com because I will definitely post you know all the materials and how to make the cards. So this next one I feature the bee and I used the Avant Garden and I used a couple of different colors of that, made some stems. I liked the way this turned out. I thought about filling in with some leaves, but I actually just liked it the way it is, but you could do more or less with this. The background is with the um, brick wall embossing folder, which is in the annual catalog. I also did a little bit of sponging around the edge, and you'll notice that I used the same color here. This is Calypso Coral, and I, I did uh, do that along the edges here and it was a different color kind of turned out kind of neat looking because I overlapped with some of the little dots that I stamped down here and also with the green sponging so it made it just a slightly different color and kind of neat looking so I liked the way this turned out I think it gave it lots of depth and dimension to do that so those are my final cards of the evening like I said I will be posting more information to my Facebook page as well as details on all of these cards and photos on my blog so thank you so much if you've been hanging out with me today I really really appreciate it and I hope to see you soon if you want to order be sure to click on the shop now button up above and it will take you to my online store there is a hostess code which I have posted and I'll post that again please use that when ordering if you have any questions or you need more information or you just need assistance placing your order I'd be glad to do that for you or help you in any way so please contact me by messaging me or by email emailing me at wallflowergreetings@gmail.com. at gmail.com thank you very much and have a fantastic evening